So if you have been dealing with Premiere Pro being extremely slow, you've Googled and YouTubed all these videos on how to make it faster, I'm gonna show you guys how I fix my Premiere Pro to run smoothly and edit 4K video with no problem, no proxies, none, none of that. It just, it just works much better. Uh, a little background before we get started, I have done everything in my power to upgrade my system since I started doing YouTube back in May, right? I have upgraded my processor, the motherboard, the RAM, the graphics card too, and for some reason Premiere Pro still was not uh, running as efficiently as I wanted it to. And so let me show you now um, that I've fixed it, how well it edits even 4K video in Premiere. So I've got my Premiere Pro loaded. I just opened up a, a new sequence, uh, a new project here, and I'm gonna pull two files in. These are 4K footage that I pulled. This is from my Canon, and you can see this is a uh, 74 gigabyte file. And it's about, uh, I think it's about, yeah, about 28 minutes. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge file. This other one's about three minutes long, 1.4 gigabytes. So I'm gonna pull these into Premiere. And then I'm going to just pull this gigantic file right into the sequence. And as you can see, I want you guys to see, cause this has completely changed my life. I've got it set to playback resolution is full, right? And as I try to scrub through this content, as you can see, it scrubs just fine. If I wanted to play part of it, it's not it's okay. not cutting. It's not anything. The audio is good. That's good. Everything is good with this content. Like I can I can go in here and I can edit it. I can do whatever I want, and it just it just it runs smoothly. And this is something that I've struggled with with Premiere. Same thing with this Go Profile. Same exact thing. I'm gonna pull this down, and you can see it just it runs just fine, right? If I want to jump this over here, do that doesn't matter, right? It's gonna run. And the reason is because you needed to change the driver of your NVIDIA graphics card. Let me show you how. So let's go to the home page here. I'm going to hit start. I'm gonna type in device manager. Now this is on Windows. If you're on Apple, the process is a little different. Let me tell you how. So on your Windows computer, click display adapters, and that'll show you which graphics card you have, right? I have the NVIDIA GeForce 3080. Um, if you're on Apple, it's a little different. You click the little Apple sign at the top left and you click like about this Mac and it'll show you under graphics what graphics card you have specifically. Now that you know what graphics card you have, we need to go to the NVIDIA website. So I'm going to pull up Google Chrome. I'm going to type in NVIDIA drivers into Google, right? I'm going to click on that and this will take you to the NVIDIA drivers page. This is also under their support uh, under NVIDIA. If you need to get, like go through the actual website, you can't use Google. Choose the product type, right? I have a GeForce graphics card. Product series is the 30, I got the 3080. If you have the 20 something series or whatever series, you can select whatever series from this list. And then you select the exact graphics card that you have. So in this case, I'm gonna choose the 3080. Choose your operating system. I have Windows 10. And then instead of the game ready driver, we need the studio driver. This is the driver that is suited to make sure that apps like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, those work well on your system. I'm gonna hit search. Now I've got version 5.16.94. You can see it came out August 9th, so three weeks ago from the time this video was made. I'm gonna click download. You can read the user agreement, sure. I'm gonna click download. And as you can see, it's a pretty large file. It's 784 megabytes, it's pretty huge. So. Um, we're going we're gonna to let that run for just a sec. As soon as it's done, we're going to open it and we're going to run the install. All right, now that the install is done, find your download drive, wherever you downloaded it from, and open that up and we're going to walk through the setup. As you can see, I'm just going to hit yes. It's going to install on my C drive. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm just going to let the process run, right? This, this process right here should take about 30 seconds. shouldn't take too long. All right, as you can see, it's pulling up now. I'm gonna close this out. And this is the installation package for the graphics, the NVIDIA graphics driver. So it's gonna ask you if you wanna install the graphics driver and GeForce Experience or just the NVIDIA graphics driver. I'm gonna do both. I think it's good to have the GeForce Experience because of some things that it does, and I'll, I'll show you what those things are. Uh, I'm gonna do the custom, click next, and then you can decide what you wanna install, right? Do you want the graphics driver? Do you want the HD audio driver? As you can see, you can double tap it. Um, some of them you have to. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna install it all. The most important thing here is to make sure you perform a clean installation. You wanted to get rid of the old drivers and install the new drivers brand new. So I'm gonna hit next, and that's gonna start the installation. Uh, this video is gonna cut off because the graphics driver being reinstalled is gonna 
close OBS. So we're going to run through this process and I'm going to record on my cellular device. As you can see here, it's running through the process. Uh, GeForce Experience just disappeared from that left side over there. Um, but it's just gonna, it's just gonna, your, your screen may cut off once or twice while it's trying to update. And as you can see, OBS just cut off. As it's trying to update your drivers, it's gonna cut off a few times, but it's basically installing the software that needs to be installed on your system um, here. So it may take like two or three minutes, relax, go get a coffee or something or a drink. What are you guys drinking when you're at the computer working? Let me know down in the comments. I've got a smoothie. I've got beets, banana, mango, strawberry, spinach, mint, all blended together in this, this uh, juicy goodness here, guys. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Anyway, so the graphics driver is installing. We're just going to let this part run. There we go. As you can see, the uh, display cut off and on one more time. It's back at the resolution that it's supposed to be at. And it looks like everything's just about done. It's finishing up now. All right, you can see it's done. Create a desktop shortcut. You can if you want. I'm gonna I'm gonna launch NVIDIA GeForce Experience when I close. It's gonna open a web page too. Feel free to just close that web page. You know how software loves to take you to their website. All right, so when you get into NVIDIA, it's gonna ask if you want to sign in. Um, in order to use this, I wonder if this will let me. No, you have to log in in order to in order to use this. So I'm gonna log in real quick. All right. Now once you're all logged in, of course another website's gonna pop up here. Automatically optimize newly added games and applications. You do want to check this, right? Because what's gonna happen? You can go on the tour too. I'm gonna skip it for now. What's gonna happen is it's automatically gonna pull up like applications and potentially games that you have on here, and it's gonna optimize them, right? So if I go into Lightroom Classic. You can see it's going to have the optimal settings that I should have for, for Lightroom, and it's going to show what I have. And if you want to optimize it, you can always optimize it there. Um, and you can do this for any application, right? You can see some of the games that I have installed that I need to uninstall because I don't play any of these. Uh, I really hope this was helpful. I, uh, like I said, this trick completely changed the way I edit, how fast I can edit, and. Um, I hope this was helpful to you too. If it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up and share this with another creator who uses any Adobe system or any other um, creative applications. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.